To increase the conversion rate for your WooCommerce store, you may want to consider customizing your checkout page from this to something that looks like this. This is the traditional WooCommerce checkout page, which doesn't look intuitive, especially if you want to increase the conversion rate for your store. By the end of this tutorial, we'll have a checkout page that looks like this, where we can even move the email address field from bottom to top, as you can see right here. If you are familiar with Shopify, this checkout page right here looks like what you see on Shopify. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your WooCommerce checkout page like Shopify. And I will specifically show you how to make WooCommerce checkout page like Shopify using WooLentor. So if this is what you want, keep watching. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel where we show you how to make websites with WordPress and also show you how to buy and sell online businesses. So if you are new here, don't be a stranger anymore. Make sure you join the family by subscribing to the channel and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our future videos. To make our WooCommerce checkout page to look like Shopify, we are going to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. I'm going to open this in a new tab because I still need this page. I move this tab right here. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins are set for WooLentor. I have WooLentor right here by Hastings. I go ahead and click on install now. It is installed. I activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's get back to the video. The next thing I'm going to do is go over to models. And in here, there are so many models you can go ahead and use. For this tutorial, we are going to concentrate on Shopify style checkout. So I go ahead and click on the gear icon right here. And on this pop-up on top right here, you see enable disable where you can enable or disable Shopify style checkout page. As you can see right here, it is off. I just go ahead and toggle it on. You can also get other options like uploading your logo, show your phone number fields, company fields. You can also hide cart navigation, hide shipping step, as well as rename labels. It should be noted that choosing any of these settings will depend upon what you want on your checkout page. For now, I'm going to go ahead and enable phone number field as well as company field. Then I click on save changes. It is saved. Next, I go over to the front end of my website to the checkout page. As you can see, this is how the default traditional WooCommerce checkout page looks like. Now I go ahead and refresh the page. And now I have this intuitive checkout page like Shopify. Awesome. On top here, you see that I have the email field, which is good, especially if you want to send cart abandonment messages to your customers. So clients can easily enter in their information here. If they have a coupon code, they can go ahead and enter it and then they continue to payment. And this is how cool it is on choosing your payment gateway. Customers still have the option to enter in their coupon code right here and they can even return to the information tab like this if maybe they needed to add something which they didn't enter earlier. So that's it on how to make WooCommerce checkout page like Shopify using WooLentor. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not just subscribed and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our future videos. For more WooLentor tutorials, make sure you stick around to watch this playlist on your screen right now. Keep watching and I'll see you inside any of the videos.